In this video we're going to make a jetpack, so when you press shift we're going to fly up in the air. Basic problem here is you're going to have some levels where you move and you might fall and you want to get back up. And you can only jump so high. So the jetpack in uh, assets, you need a folder called scripts. If you don't have it, right click, create folder, scripts, go into that, right click, create C sharp script, call it jetpack, and then we're going to open it up, double click. Okay, so we're going to use two, th we need two things in jetpack. We need to access the character motor and the character controller. The character motor is going to let us change our velocity to go up. The character controller is going to tell us what our velocity already is. So, if we go into mono with this. So we need two variables to hold the character motor and the character controller. So the type is going to be character motor, CM is what I'll call it. There's also going to be a character controller, CC is the variable name. So when we start, we need to make CC equal to get components character motor. Same thing for CC. It's going to be a character controller. So when Jetpack is attached to our player, you can run these Unity functions. And I'm saying find the component that's attached to the, the same thing Jetpack's attached to. We want to find the character motor attached to it so that I can use it. Now I can use CM to set my velocity. I think I might have to do this because I did that a weird way. So now we're going to write the, the code that will check if we are holding down shift, left shift, then we're going to do this, this uh, stuff here. What we're going to do is we're going to get um, We're going to make a new velocity, and it's going to be using it's going to be using the sideways velocity. Okay, so if we were moving forward or or left or sideways, we don't want the jetpack to just remove that. In fact, I'm going to show what that does. So if we right now, if we press shift. We're going to make, oh, there's another bracket there. Count the brackets. These are brackets. Here's another one. You gotta line up. So, right now, I'm saying if I press the jetpack, it doesn't matter if I was running forward, I'm just gonna go straight up. And you'll see it's a little jerky. But we'll just see what it's like for now. And then CM, the character motor, we can use one of its functions. You know, you can see all the different things you can do with CM, but we're going to use set velocity and we're going to give it the velocity vector 3 that we just made, okay? So when I save this, go into Unity. Uh, of course you need to attach it to the player. I have to move this. Jetpack. Okay, so now when I press play, if I press left shift, I go right up, which is pretty good. Um, that's not bad, but you see, if I'm moving forward, and then I press up, I just went straight up. And in fact, if I hold shift, I can't move side to side, so I have to go straight up. That's not very good. One more thing we're going to adjust is going to be what I said here, the zero. We're actually going to take CC, take our velocity, our X velocity, CC velocity. So what I'm whoops Z. So what I'm saying here, change our velocity to be the same x velocity. Sideways is going to be the same, whatever it was. Ten is going to be 
definitely going up. And if we're going uh, forward or back, then keep that, keep the Z as well. So now when I save, give this another shot. Now it's not so crazy. I can still move forward a bit. And it might be a little more obvious if I was uh, moving faster. But yeah, there you go. There's your jetpack. Maybe you could have some fuel running out or something and you wouldn't be able to use it forever.